Australia, government Australia, we met to Bokea. Look, it's been a real pleasure, a real privilege um, to be a part of it and it's just wonderful to have a family reunited um, and this little girl back with her brothers and sisters and her father um, where she belongs and where she needs to be. Thank you everyone, see you later, thank you thank you. Lifelong memories really, the whole um, experience of going to Kenya and bringing Naima home. As we got closer to Melbourne it was interesting Lots of people on the plane started to realise that um, what the story was. I think people initially thought we might have adopted this little girl, but the word had sort of travelled that she was being reunited with her family. So the closer we got to um, arriving in Melbourne, probably we got a little bit more nervous. Um, the other thing was that um, because she was a twin, the big responsibility was to ensure that she was in the same clothes as her twin sister when they were reunited. So. Um, I, the closer we got to Melbourne, the more concerned I was, I've got to get this little girl dressed. And I remember standing at the door at, where you come out into the um, garage, and we went through the doors, and all I remember is her father just running, and um, the kids running behind him and picked her up and ran away with her. It was just a, something you'll, I'll never, ever um, forget the excitement. <laughs> Well, it's amazing, six years on. Pappy's at um, university down in Melbourne. Juliet, um, who's the next in the family, has just finished year 12. Archie's in year 12. Monga's in year 10. And Fatina and Naima are both in different year levels. Naima um, did a second year of year six. She just felt she needed that extra year at primary school. So she's now in year seven at Notre Dame and Fatina's in year eight. Dad, Malidi's here and he's since remarried, since he's come to Australia. And so he's living with his wife Namalika and all the children in the family home. It's a rainy November morning in Melbourne, where the MacArthur wow. family waits oh, for yeah. the <laughs> <rainbow tonight. laughs> The children You're fled the war torn Democratic Republic of the with their Thank you and Mrs. Kaplan for going to get my sister. I'm so very happy. Yeah, very happy. It was a long night, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, 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 it was. Long day, long night. Oh, very good. It brings a lot of memories and tears because seeing how we all have grown, like I was up to there but now I'm up to here, it's just amazing. Um, I remember how my big brother Papi picking me up and giving me a hug and I was so happy seeing the video again, it was just amazing. I'm very happy, um, we enjoy about my, my family's grow up and has very good healthy. I think uh, all my family is set up very well, it's self, it's self very well in, in Australia. When I was a little girl, my uncle Machinda, um, he used to sing a lot of songs and when I, when I came here we made up a band and it's called the Angel Voices and I love singing because it's something I like doing. To even have established a, you know, a, a choir that has a huge reputation um, and they've performed at you know, Crown Casino at the Palladium for um, the Premier's event and a whole range of um, experiences like that. They've just been a very, um, very successful in their integration into the into the Shepparton community. I just want to say thank you to those people for everything they've done, and I just want to say thank you to Mrs. Kublik, um for bringing me to Australia to reunite with my family, and I'm really happy to like to be with my family again. Nothing's impossible, you know, and never to be afraid to offer to help somebody, even if you think it's, you can't do it. Um, and I guess that was a learning for me. You can do things and we have got the skills and expertise to help people if um, we put ourselves out there, I guess, and take the opportunities when they come along. Hola.